Watching endless tutorials will leave you stuck in the same place if you do it wrong. I've been coding for over 3 years and in this video I'll explain why most beginners don't make progress and how to actually learn .NET faster. Most new developers get stuck in the same trap. You learn the basics, you watch a ton of tutorials, and maybe you even build a simple application. But when it comes to actually creating something bigger, something that does a real job, you just freeze. You don't know how the pieces fit together, so you either end up stuck in tutorial loops, or you start thinking, maybe I should just learn another language or switch to mobile development instead. But that's not the problem. The real problem is that you're not building in the right way. Here's the thing. Most people can get through the basics of C-sharp syntax, learn a little bit of object-oriented programming, or even spin up a simple MVC project in .NET. But the jump from there to building an actual application, something structured with features that solves a problem, is where they hit the wall. That's when the tutorial loop starts. You keep searching for the perfect tutorial, thinking the next one will finally connect all the dots, or worse, you switch tracks completely. Maybe I'll do mobile development instead instead, maybe Python instead of C-sharp, maybe I just picked the wrong stack, but none of that solves the real constraint. The problem isn't the language, it's that you've never gone deep on building something from start to finish. Here's the approach that changed everything for me. Instead of hopping between tutorials, pick one project and build the most complete version of it you can. And here's the key, you don't need to know everything in advance. In fact, you won't. You'll learn as you go because the project will force you to learn. Let me give you an example. Say you want to build something like Notion, an application where users can create and organize notes or projects if you weren't familiar with it. As a beginner, you're not going to build Notion overnight, but you can still start. Figure out the first step. For example, make sure your application can save a simple project or note into a database. That's it. And to do that, you'll learn one of the biggest building blocks of all web applications. The create, read, update, and delete operations are also known as CRUD. Just that step alone will challenge you. You'll Google errors, follow a tutorial, read some documentation, and after a few days, you'll finally get it working. But here's the difference. Now it's yours. You've applied it into your own code, with your own mistakes, and you'll know how to apply it again in your next project. Then the project naturally pushes you to the next step. You realize, wait, I want users to have their own notes. So you'll dive into authentication. You'll look up how to use Microsoft Identity, figure out how to connect data to specific users and display it back to them. That's a whole new set of skills unlocked because you needed it. And step by step, your project keeps teaching you. By the way, if you'd like my direct help during this whole process, you can find me inside the .NET squad. It's a place to turn whenever you're stuck on code or need some guidance. It's free to start. Link is below. So from everything we've talked about so far, this is how you'll learn more from one complete project than from 10 half-built ones. When you go all in on a single application, you're constantly problem solving, constantly applying what you've learned. Eventually, you might want to make the front end more interactive, so you'll dip into JavaScript, maybe you'll want real-time updates, so you'll explore how to sync data between the client and server. You don't need all of this upfront, but the deeper you push one project, the faster your skills grow. And it doesn't stop there. As you keep improving your application, you'll start writing cleaner, safer code, you'll learn how to design more efficient database structures and write better queries, you'll pick up good practices that make your code easier to maintain, you'll also need to collaborate with others so you'll get comfortable using Git and GitHub to track and share your work, and if you want your project to go live, you'll step into deployment, which is a whole different skill set by itself. But this way, you're building on strong foundations, stacking skills continuously, one layer at a time. And here's the best part. At the end, you don't just have knowledge. You have the skills and an actual working application that proves it. Something real you can show, use, or build on. So here's my closing advice. You'll go further faster by not chasing tutorials. Pick one project, push it as far as you can, and learn what you need as you need it. A natural next question is, what resources should you use and how? 
I've made a full video explaining exactly that. It's on the screen right now, so click on it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.